Zehra Madinli's eyes are fighting to be heard. Even blinking takes extreme concentration, and every movement helps her speak. My mind is healthy. I'll hear, but I cannot speak. So she writes short stories, fables for children, poems, dozens of them, spelling out each word with her eyes. There was a magnolia tree with beautiful pink flowers in the spring. ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or Lou Gehrig's disease, began taking Madinna's voice and body in 2009. This sort of came from nowhere. You just don't want to believe it naturally. I mean, because, I mean, she was like anybody else at that time, walking, talking person. They were just a few years into their new marriage. Zehra, a new Canadian, too. And she's an outdoor person, actually. It's very sad to see her kind of locked in, in a house. Within a year, uh, she wasn't able to walk anymore. Uh, within two years, she couldn't talk anymore. So we tried to kind of behave like everything is normal, uh, knowing that it's not, right? And, um, and that kind of, you know, pulls you apart. A caretaker helps the couple eight hours a day. Sinan is now on disability, fighting health problems of his own, compounded by the stress of caring for his wife when help isn't there. Zehra has a new mission now. She wants to raise at least $10,000 for ALS Canada. She's absolutely amazing. We can help a lot of clients with, with $10,000. And as well, uh, we can give some money for research to find a cure. It's not a cure to make ALS as a chronic disease. That magnolia tree Zehra writes about, it was once dying too, until she nursed it back to health. We were all so happy. Our magnolia tree returned back to its original self, healthy and alive. God has given them a new beginning. Nico Xal, CBC News, Toronto.